Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Celia Foley. I've been at Radnor since kindergarten. It's Margaret Steely, and I've been at Radnor since third grade. My name is Cheyenne. I've been at Radnor since I was in kindergarten. I'm Hannah. I've been in Radnor since second grade. I'm Jack Ryan, and I've been here for four years. I'm Bryce Sindor, and I've been here since kindergarten. I'm Kate Stanley, and I've been here since kindergarten. Kelsey, and I've been here since kindergarten. I'm Maureen, and I've also been here since kindergarten. I'm Olivia Bradbury, I've been at Radnor since kindergarten. And I'm Rachel Rest, and I've also been at Radnor since kindergarten. Uh, Stuart Lubnick, I've been here since third grade. I'm Lexi McClatchy, I've been at Radnor since kindergarten. I'm Romney Wilson, I've been at Radnor for about four years. Griffin Rauscher, and I've been uh, at Radnor since Third grade. Dylan Abnett and I have been here for three and a half years. Drew Ballmer and I moved here sophomore year. Eris Kalustian and I've been here since seventh grade. Jimmy Bleak, I've been here since ninth grade. I'm Will Braithwaite and I've been around here since first grade. I'm Claire Kirby, I've been around here since fourth grade. I'm Sarah Beaverson and I've been at Radnor since kindergarten. I'm uh, Jeremy Pidock, 12 years. My name is Madison August and I've been going to Radnor since kindergarten. Noah Elkins, also for 12 years. I'm Joshua Clagg, I've been here since I was in 6th grade. Uh, Corey Ruderman, been here through the whole cycle since kindergarten. I'm Louis Susser, I've been here since kindergarten. And I'm James Gurian and I've been here since 3rd grade. I'm Katie Doherty and I was here kindergarten through 5th and then I came back 9th through 12th. I'm Claire Algin and I came in 4th grade and stayed. Brian and I've been here since I came the second half of 1st grade. I'm Alex Minto and I came 2nd grade. Quincy Shuda since kindergarten. Joel DeSanto since 6th grade. Susanna Lowy and I have been here for 13 years. Okay. I'm Lee Nye, I've been going here since kindergarten. Morgan Campbell, I've been going here since kindergarten. Andrew Major. Kindergarten. Ryan Freeman. I've been here since fourth grade. James Hong. First grade, so 11 years. Austin Dunlap. First grade, 11 years. Oh, was that Corin? Yep. Probably Corey Ruderman. Definitely not Jack Ryan. Oh, I'll tell you that. Olivia Bradbury. I made multiple attempts to talk to her on Facebook with no avail. <laughs> Phil Gaspard in fourth grade. Phil. Bryce and Noor. Bryce and Noor. <laughs> He came to my house on Valentine's Day in kindergarten and with his entire family and gave me flowers and I cried hysterically. Austin Dunlap. Easy shaper. Melanie Fine. Katie Fitzpatrick. Katie Fitzpatrick. Mm. Ryan Friedman. Marcus Memorian in the sixth grade. Will Panneries. Will Panneries. Will Panneries. <laughs> Tilly Bushel, who's so cute. <laughs> Either Terrence Quinn or Brendan Manderak. Oliver Brotman in fourth grade. Charlie Scott. I'm going to have to say Blake Thompson. Cat Mosher Mills. Owen Shirley. Owen Shirley. Owen Shirley. Uh, Claire Algin right here. <laughs> <laughs> On mic. I asked her to coffee. She said no. Jack Gilletti. He's only here for one year in fifth grade. And he lives in Hawaii now. He's really attractive now, though. Julia DeSanto. Well, it was Cheyenne Harrington and Haley Langan. I actually ended up dating Cheyenne, plot twist. You guys were engaged. <laughs> we were engaged to be married, but that was called off. In kindergarten, the Hanson twins. Both of them. What? I couldn't choose. In probably like third grade, I got my pants out of the dryer and my sister's underwear was caught in the leg. And in aftercare, the underwear came out of my pant leg and onto the floor. And my teacher sat us down in a circle and asked us all whose underwear it was. In first grade, we had like, um, so like, 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 it was like a field day, I guess, and we had to wear, it was like a beach theme. So I wore a bikini to school in first grade. And I showed up early with my teacher and we were like hanging out. And I was in like a little swimsuit with like a little like Hawaiian skirt on. And like I had like my Barbie in my backpack with her like bikini on. The entirety of seventh grade, because I wore Ashley Gubernick's Bat Mitzvah sweatpants and a World Wildlife Fund graphic tee every day. Probably messing up the senior girls dance. I'll never live that down. <laughs> in the fifth grade when I kicked Bryce door in the head and made him cry. I decided I would be friends with somebody by using a magic eight ball. I was like, let's see if we'll be friends. And just like shook it and saw it. Said no, by the way. 
so that was awkward. In ninth grade, I was really mad at Olivia because she was dating Connor Kirkpius and I had a really big crush on him. But then I was like, oh wait, I'm gay and I don't like him. Uh, probably being butt naked in the bathroom in second grade. <laughs> well, maybe I wasn't naked, it was like half. It, it was the wrong half. But. It was after Peter Pan, I was in my Captain Hook outfit. And I was out in the lobby and I was taking a picture with some little kids. When I bent down to take a picture, my pants completely split. Like right in the in the in the crotch and the inseam. Uh, like right right in there. I got stopped by Miss Wetzel because she really wanted me to take a picture with her little kids. And her little daughter instantly saw it and just pointed at me with like the most innocent eyes I've ever seen in my life. Freshman year. I threw up right over there, like projectile vomited. 10th grade, uh, we were warming up for cross country, the sport of running, and all the guys and the girls met in this big circle. Julian Evans went up behind me and he pants me, and he somehow got a really firm grip and also got my underwear, and the entirety of the boys and girls cross country team saw my penis. <laughs> Kept it under wraps. <laughs> a few classroom farts here and there. Tweet at the township um, <laughs> about not doing <laughs> something in class. And uh, sorry, Ms. Linus. Last year I sneezed on the desk and such a large amount of snot came out of my nose. And all I could do is just keep my head down. Do of course there's no tissues in this school. My head's down, I have <laughs> so much snot between my nose and the desk. And then the teacher calls on me. Austin, what are you doing? And I go, what? <laughs> oh, it's not. And he goes, oh my, what is that? And I go, no. And I've got it all over my face. When me and Zach Seance got locked out of school in first grade, Zach started crying. And then when Zach started crying, I started crying. And then Scott Rappaport led us back into the school. When I was in sixth grade, and I was like this fat little hooligan, we were in Wayne Sporting Goods, I tried to fart on an employee. But in turn, I actually pooped on the, I pooped, and then I pooped my pants in the direction of this employee. <laughs> and then I said I felt sick and I walked home. In seventh, seventh grade. grade, we thought it was like so cute to make up a dance and like perform it in front of everyone. So before the swimming gym, we were all actually at Jules DeSanto's house and we made up this really good dance routine to I hate this part oh, by yeah. the cat dolls. Like we go to start the performance and Margot came running in and just fell right off her face. And then like on top of that, the dance was like it's extremely embarrassing. Can you guys do part of the dance right now? <laughs> At dance practice for the senior <laughs> dance for the pep rally, I had to demonstrate a move in front of everybody and I fell and almost broke my neck in front of the entire grade, so. Uh, the grind on me move, of course. Just the other day, I walked into the cafeteria. I was about to get my lunch and the, the lunch lady started wooing at me. They said, damn, look at that, he's handsome. When Heather McShay pantsed me in front of the cast of the musical when I was in ninth grade, and the whole cast was like on the stage and I was in the audience and my pants were all the way down. Probably when I walked into the boys bathroom freshman year and there were two senior boys peeing. Freshman year, uh, my brother and I were in the library and my brother got kicked out and the library was walking around, saw me and she was like, hey, didn't I kick you out? I was like, no. Freshman year, I didn't know how to use a razor so Cecilia Foley shaved my armpits before freshman swimming. I got sent home because my shorts were too short and I had to argue with the nurse about the length of my shorts, so. In the seventh grade, me and Marcus Memorian were planning to go get deprooted um, and we went to Wayne, walked in Wayne, trying to find a good spot. We found a great spot behind Gumdrops and Sprinkles, but like half our grade was there to watch. <laughs> we got like this close and I turned around and walked away. And then five seconds later, my mom just so happens to come right next to me and stop. She's like, hey, is Charlotte here? And I just ran inside and was like, go, 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 go. I'm really loving the assassin game that's going on right now. Sophomore year when girls ultimate frisbee won states. Pretty much all the times with Connor Curbius are like pretty memorable. Joining the announcements team. Something to do with football, just the whole experience of football, music and like the musical and Meisters and B Sharps and whose line is it anyways and I've had a really good time with all of them. Like Spain, but no one wants to hear that. All four MLK days were really great. I would say 90s for my best experience. Still at Vince's 90s party this year. <laughs> <laughs> and we did Greece last year and I played uh, Vince Fontaine. 
Cam Canadensis. Sailing at Sandy Hill with Margo. Elementary school when me and a friend Quincy Shuda used to fake injuries to get to the nurse and get animal crackers and like to be different. We would pretend to have wood chips in our eyes. Oh, LM Week Senior Year. In the LM Pep Rally this year, right when we finished the senior girls dance, we all came together and like we're jumping around and screaming and it was just really like a lot of love. Beating LM. Yeah, beating LM Senior Year. Yeah. Probably dancing in the lobby during LM Week. The Thursday before LM Senior Throwback Thursday. Probably the <laughs> LM Week Senior Year. LM is what makes Radner Radner. LM, the dance party in the lobby. I mean, it's cliche, but LM week. Probably say LM week. LM week this year, like just dancing around and stuff. Yeah. Um, definitely LM week and like actually being part of it, you know, senior girls. Um, definitely LM week. Same. Basically, same thing here. Being a senior during LM week was definitely a big deal. So LM week senior year. Um, it was really cool to be drum major this year with the band and do all the LM stuff and do the pep rally senior girls dance. LM week. Dancing in the LM pep rally senior year. LM. LM is always a great memory. I did LM football games. I don't really remember LM day. I'm gonna miss you guys a lot, especially you, Andrew Carlson. Let's get money. I guess it's been a lot of fun, guys, and I'm really gonna miss everyone. I'm happy we were so close to class, and it was really fun. It's been a long time, but it was fun. I'm excited for the future. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for making this <laughs> such a great 12 years. Literally, love all of you. Shout out to uh, Cheyenne and Haley, and um, Julian Evans and uh, Coach Flanagan for seeing something you can't unsee. You can shout out to my homies. Um, Stay swaggy, Radner. See y'all at senior week. Yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. I just have to say, class 2014, good luck to you. Um, stay strong, stay positive. We're all in this together. Good luck. Shout out to Radner Ruckus, you rock. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> I, I appreciate my class, because, you know, I feel like they stuck it out there. But, like, some of them, some of them ain't make it. It's a hard world out there, so don't blow it. Uh, Oliver, sorry for the, that one rumor. Well, it's been like a crazy four years at Radnor High School. There's been so many ups and downs. Um, I'm glad the friends I have now and like knowing who's a real friend and who's not. And best of luck to everyone in the future. Can't wait to see where you are in five, ten years. Um, and I guess I'll miss some of you. It's been a great 12 years, and I really like can't believe how fast it went by. Like I can't believe that we're all already going to college and graduating. Um, I'm just gonna miss everyone so much, even though half of us are all going to school. So glad I'm going to school with like half the grade. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to uh, my cat Charlie. I love you. And Jake's basement. Okay. <laughs> Uh, class of 2014, it's been an incredible run. In all honesty, couldn't have asked for a better class. Thanks, guys. Ryan, you guys have been my best friends for the past four years, and honestly, can't thank you enough for a great four years. And I wish you best of luck in the next four years and the rest of your life. Love you guys. Good luck. I love everyone, and I'm really excited for college. But I want to stay in contact with like as many people as possible. I'll miss most of you. <laughs> Thanks for being welcoming, as I kind of like be, like be included in everything that the seniors are doing. So that was nice. Shout out, okay, shout out to Cecilia because she's making me. Um, shout out to the kids I do announcements with every day. Shout out to the kids I do theater with. Shout out to everyone I've, who I've ever shared a moment with at this school in my three years. Um, you've all made it the best three years of my life, and I thank you for that. That's how far we go back. I just feel like I never separated away from all my Waniacs. I feel like I could always have you guys there if I needed you. And that's what's really important, creating those friendships that are the best. Be nice. Yeah, I agree. That's Definitely what I have nice. to say, just be nice. Be kind. Love everyone, love each other. I'll give you a kiss. There you go. That kiss is with you forever. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to the class of 2014. Best class out there. You guys are like my brothers and sisters and the in betweens and the out betweens. It's not a word. You know, um, Mr. Skellinger, you're the best thing that's ever happened. Kelly, keep on getting those two bags. 2014. Been going to school with you guys since kindergarten. I know a lot of you really well. It's been a great experience. I'm going to miss you all like hell. 
we had like a great, great, great experience and I'll never forget it in my life. Thank you all for being such a warm, sheltering community. I honestly won't forget this. I'm going to miss you guys at college. <laughs> it's been a serious journey through these four billion years. It's felt like so long and then this year came and it went really fast and I, if I could do anything, I'd repeat it. Thanks for a great bunch of years. I'm going to miss it. Even when I said I'm not going to miss it, I'm going to miss it. Um, Evie Kai for President 2032. Uh, Zoe Lilly for Vice President 2032 and uh, Punk's not dead. It's been real, guys. Uh... Yeah. That's it? Yeah. You're so lame. Keep it real, Radner. If you see me outside of school, say hi. I love all of you and I'll miss you. Me? Not, not J-Rod. J-Rod has kind of ruined my experience at Radner High School. If you ever want to be good, you have to find a way. Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. Take me home